first trip out on the bus after I got it built, it started raining. The, I mean, there's just water coming in through the ceiling and the windshield, and I remember sitting there in a parking lot thinking, what did I get myself into? So that night I was going through a book and there was a quote from the guy who started all this public land stuff, Teddy Roosevelt, and he said, nothing worth having comes easy. And at that moment I was like, well, hell yeah, Teddy, let's do this. I do just kind of a, a small stick fire in the morning just to take the edge off of the tent. It's really nice for just getting dressed and getting ready and getting out of here. What makes me least difficult to hunt, it, a lot of it's where they live and, and how they live. So we're gonna, just gotta make this like 200 foot climb real quick. Kind of, kind of angle up through this gut. Once we're on top, it's a quick hike out to the glassing vantage. And hopefully we'll see deer coming back up into the hills. That's the plan anyway. What holds just a lot of mystique with mule deer in my mind is the fact that they just can't be grown. You know, their biology and the bacteria in their guts is so specific to the area that they live in. You know, you can't put up a bunch of high fence somewhere in Nebraska and grow giant mule deer. It doesn't work. They just suffer and dwindle and, and are and just really do not grow to their full potential in captivity. So they're just kind of a sort of the West's true wild animal. Found a really cool barn. So I actually came into this spot on the other end last year and saw some deer in this drainage. Thought maybe there'd be deer using it again this year, so came in the other side, climbed up on top to get a good vantage and see everything. Turns out there aren't any deer using it, so we're just kind of hopping around a little chunks of public ground, see if we can't spot some uh, spotted deer. I guess the uh, important thing is to always glass a little bit closer than you think. I was just gonna go up around this corner. As soon as I took a step this way, I saw one of them standing there. And then they just bolted, you know? Looks like a stick shift. And then look like a stick shift knob. <laughs> <laughs> Four twenty-nine. We are one minute ahead of schedule. Just getting everything packed up. Throw the orange on. We got a long hike in this morning, and then uh, should put us into position to find some deer. So. Hiked in and down a little sliver of public this morning for oh about five miles. I've been wanting to get into this spot for over a year. I think there's a pretty good buck over here. over the hill, get low, and then move in on them, and get to position, get a little closer and get a better look, figure out how to move in on them. I wish we weren't out here like a crow in a snowbank in the sun. Mule deer, I mean, you have to be perfect. You know, you have to be, every aspect has to come together and you have to exercise each aspect perfectly to take a really good mule deer. They're almost uncheatable. I'm gonna get in this bottom and try to make a move on them. I'm just gonna hope they're still there when I get close.
spotted a coyote just in the drainage next to him, so I would assume that coyote wanders by that buck will stand up. I'm actually looking at five bucks right now, but the rest of them are standing and the one I want to shoot bedded down, so I'm just waiting for him to stand up to reposition. My heart's starting to pound. so funny, usually, you know, you want the days to go slow, 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 just so you have enough time to do everything. And then you get onto your time and you just want them to speed up. He's up. He's down, and he's huge. I've shot exactly two mule deer in my life. One was, first one with a rifle, second one with a bow. This is my third mule deer. <laughs> he's even bigger than I thought. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, that is so awesome. Sean is graciously carrying all of my camera stuff and all of my other gear. So all I have to do is carry the deer. Probably close to a third, oh. I ripped my brand new shirt. I've only had it since 2012. I got meat and bones and a head. I don't know if this one will fit in the bus very well. At some point you think mule deer hunting is really cool because it's really trying, it's testing every aspect of, you know, talent that you could acquire is, is really put up to the test and, and has to be utilized to try to take a big muley. Doesn't matter if it's hiking the soles off your hunting boots or turning a school bus into a rolling hunting shack for public land conservation. I guess it is true that nothing worth having comes easy. <laughs>